What up guys, good morning and welcome back. So this actually isn't a review video. I know it's in the name of the title, but I just want to be consistent. What it actually is, is more of a chance for me to just talk to you guys, describe to you guys, and really show you guys what I wanted to convey out of the baseball made, and what we like really created, what it was made for, and what it can do. And so, like, I'm sure you guys already know, Clayton and I, Old Dudes, and The Pomp, we collaborated on a product for this season, and that is the baseball made. It is a kind of variation on Old Dude's water base pomade, but actually we reformulated it, gave it a new scent, repackaged it, I like changed everything in this pomade. It was just based off the water base, um, Old Dude's water base pomade, but we went in a completely like new direction with it and we took it to like a whole nother level, which is really nice and what, what I really wanted to do. And so what this is, is like a water based pomade by technicality. It's not actually like what you think is a water based pomade for you who like expects something like Swallow Seat, though, Lay Ray, any of that BS. So, what it is is something completely different. It's neither an oil based or a water based. It borrows characteristics from a few, but also pulls characteristics from like thin air. It's a unique pomade that I wanted to kind of be a satire of what we uh, preconceive, we assume to exist with water based or oil based pomades. And so, that is like the main idea of the base pomade. So I'll go ahead and convey that to you guys and show you guys how it does that through like its performance. So we'll start off this thing as any other like review video. We'll start off by looking at the jar. So this is the jar right here. Um, I didn't do the full design of this one. Actually this time because of the Kind of high expectations and like the power I wanted to like push through this pomade. I actually hired one of my designer friends to do this one. Um, he's a Stanford graduate, probably what I perceive to be the best designer that's ever been at this school. Uh, well, graphic designer ever been to school for like the past like five years or so. So, like I really wanted him to get on top of this one, and I felt that he could best visually like convey like the message. And so we worked together on this. We developed it as the base pomade. So you have some clean fonts, some sans serif with like some cursive font with nice um, shadows that we put in to really emphasize, add some extra character to the font. It's really subtle, but it makes a huge difference. There you have the Pomp X Old Dudes and Death to the Most Fly, our catchphrase, or ra uh, rather our main catchphrase for this one. And in black is a graphic underneath. It's hard to see right now, but once you actually use some pomade, or if you ever have the jar in the sunlight, you'll see it as a snake killing an eagle. And that really goes with the death to the most fly and really conveys like an underlying message that I hope you guys can interpret on your own. So then on the side, you also have my um, branding, the pomp um, in a new rendition, and also Clayton's Old Dudes All Natural on the other side. Then you also have some more catchphrases, praise the most bass, death to the most fly, thank you bass pomp. Then you have directions underneath, along with handcrafted and hand poured in the USA and ingredients. And if you guys looked at the ingredients closer, you guys would notice this is actually different from the Old Dude's water-based pomade. As I said before, this is a new reform like formula. Like we changed everything. Opening it up, you'll see right away just by appearance, the pomade looks nothing like the Old Dude's water-based or rather the texture looks nothing like it. It now has like a creamy, buttery smoothness to it that didn't exist with the original. And that's something that like is probably one of my most favorite characteristics of this collab. So let's go ahead and start using it. Getting the scent for this pomade was like a crazy adventure. Like Clayton literally sent over to me a total of like 30, 40 different vials, all of which I still have in my room. But just different scents, different mixtures that we were trying to go for. And we ended up with like a like a clove, amber, sandalwood type of scent. And it's really clean and smooth, yet dark and like rich in like herbalness. But it's still smooth, single tone, as I mentioned in the earlier video, so that you can also put your cologne on top of it. Because that's my issue. It's like a pomade can never really replicate the complicated tones you get from a cologne. So why not get in the way? Let's go ahead and get something neutral that can be built on top of. But yeah. So scooping this one out, it's smooth, 
it's creamy and it's like a slightly like thicker version of like white pomade which is really nice texture is just some sort of like bougie aspect but it's not something to be ignored like there's a lot of experience like we get out of it and it says a lot and so with the base pomade one scoop which is like this will allow you to style like a loose like pompadour something like messy which is amazing like this pomade ended up like being one of the not one of the most versatile like product i ever used you also notice it smears right away it's unlike the old roots water base where you have to really agitate and it actually smears and shears right away and so like let's say i wanted to style like a nice loose pompadour just come in with one lick making sure that i spread everything around really easily as you can tell i can like agitate my hair because this pomade is actually really easy to apply and it works around really easily like it's not a heavyweight pomade not only is it a lightweight it actually is like a medium heavy like between there like we wanted to give a lot of hold because a lot of the issues with the current other um water-based pomades on the market rather like the revolutionary ones that are similar that were inspired by old dudes water base they've been lacking in hold which has been interesting and something we expect to kind of fix in the near future but we want to go ahead and fix that with this product and give it like a nice thick and like firm hold and so with one scoop you get some general control as you guys can tell i got my hair cut so my sides will stick up if not um held down by a lot of product but this one gives it some general control gives it a little bit of weight and nice thing is like with one scoop you can go ahead and get like a nice loose look back and this is like something presentable i would go out with but of course let's go ahead and sound like a pump with this one so for a pump you can go in with two or three scoops with two scoops you get a nice clean pompadour and stuff like that still light and feel but with the third scoop if you choose to go with the third one this thing actually really styles just like the pomade our first collab between clayton me and edwin and that was like just an ideal oil-based pomade and so if you go with three scoops you can literally style something just like that or well, the characteristics of the, the feel of the pomade becomes just like the pomade One of my favorite aspects of this one is like, I think it might be due to like the shea butter, but like this pomade has like just a nice thick controllable consistency to it. Like there's not this overwhelming aspect of like wax. There's not this stickiness that you associate with it, but like there's some sort of, it's just like a thick cream you're working with, which allows you to more easily work it around with your hands and also more predictable later on. I'll explain that. But yeah, so pomades in my hair, two scoops, clean, light, pump. Let's go ahead and start slicking everything back. And as you can see, my comb just moves through extremely easily. Like, no issues at all. It's nice and soft. I mean, I had Clayton design this product, or rather formulate this product to my needs or my expectations. So, obviously, I need it to be easily combed. My hair is really fine. I don't want to be bothered by a super heavyweight pomade. Anyways, with that done, let's go ahead and start forming the part. You know, when you try this pomade, just please enjoy every single aspect of it. I mean, every single experience, every single minute detail, the way it feels to your hands, the way it feels like along your fingers as like you comb it and stuff like that, as your finger brushes against your hair. Like, I know you guys probably think that's too crazy, but like every detail was looked at. Like, that's what it takes to like create a great product and like, if something's gonna go out in my name, like I need it to be like spot on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side of my head. 
get the sides relatively down. Like obviously, like I said, this pomade is still like a really soft one. Like it's not ever hard or really firm in nature. And so you'll get some like life to your side. It's not gonna hold straight tight to your head. And so that's what I was going for. And we'll come across and start forming the actual pump now. And you'll notice, of course, that took almost no time at all. Like, control is something that was introduced by this blog. Like, that concept of creating a pomade that you can actually control your hair with. And that's, like, not strength. Strength and hold it are different from control. They're just, like, brute force. You comb and, like, your hair stays there. Control is, like, a product's ability to like help your hair go where you want it, not where you put it, but where you were hoping to put it. And so that's something that like is plentiful, highly like refined in this pomade. And so, yeah, I mean, you have like a nice, slight like notch above like the neutral shine. I mean, it just shows you have some product in. Um, it's a soft pomade, so the sides aren't like slicked down perfectly, but they're kept in like a relatively nice position. And then the pop itself is absolutely beautiful. You can get some serious height with this pomade and actually it will last like a majority of the day. You can then transition to a loose pump or you can go ahead and restyle into like back into this pump and then you will retain a majority of your height. Like <laughs> losing volume throughout the day really makes the pomp sad. Like it really makes a sad pomp. And so we don't want no sad pomps in this thing. So that's something we try to address. And obviously it's not perfect. Cause like, if you want like some like 24 seven, no hold, use some like Elmer's glue or something. But like with a natural like hair pomade, this is definitely on like the upper end of it. And so I was happy like this product turned out that way. But yeah, so that's what we were hoping to achieve and that's what you can see like we just achieved right now. And of course, go out there the whole day just to prove it and then come back, talk to you guys about everything else and all the other characteristics that don't show until you reach the end of your day. So, be back guys. See you in a few hours. Alright, what up guys? Back now, end of the day. So... Let's go ahead and proceed along and take a look at how well like the base pomade did or how it fared throughout the whole day. So this is restyled and the thing is like this looks remarkably similar to what we had in the morning. You're like yes the shine just went like half a notch down. Um, the hold is actually I say 90-80% still there. The overall shape everything still looks like spectacular and just like combing through with it like everything like the control was still there the workability like i was still able to form like the pop and stuff like that um and actually surprisingly this actually this pomade can be washed out in one go like two licks can be washed out in one go three licks um just make sure you scrub i initially wasn't planning on that because I was actually playing it to be more like the old dudes like water-based pomade where it kind of sits around you do get a waxy buildup but turns out the base pomade can be washed out so that's the deal with that aspect um let's see what else the scent is also really soft um pretty much gone unless you're in like direct vicinity of your hair then you can probably still smell it but it takes on like a more musky like a heavier scent throughout the whole day rather than like such like a uh, spicy herbalness and so yeah I mean in a normal review I'd be like this receives my seal of approval but of course I collab with it like it has to receive like my seal of approval before it, it was even like made like I mean whatever this has been the base pomade and I just just wanted to show you guys like what I intended this product to perform like.
it's not a review, but here. I mean, there's still a few jars left, and I mean, this is the reason why I put it out now. I wanted to make sure that, like, I didn't have the worry of still needing to, like, sell this stuff and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, there are still a few jars available. By the time you watch this, it probably will be gone. But either way, yes, the pump, me, X, old dudes on natural, Clayton, the base pump, mate.